Now let's tell you what's in these things. These are the power cords for my stuff. Uh, my phone one uh, is over there, so my phone one uh, was important to keep that charged. I did need to charge my video camera several times. This is my camera battery, battery charger, and I brought like two batteries, maybe even three, for my camera. I didn't even go through one battery, never had to use this. Should have left my camera at home. So, then I have the English plug adapter, which was very important, and somewhere the European plug adapter, which was also very important. So I was very glad I had that. Matter of fact, the European plug adapter, I found myself wishing that I had two of them to charge both my phone and my video camera at the same time. So that probably would have been uh, quite well worth my while. So let's look at my toiletries. Toothbrush. Essential. Very glad I had it. Um, oh, the sunblock. I accidentally kept it. It was actually my friend's. And I, I put it in my bag and I forgot and I left with it, which I feel bad about. Also, I had an itty bitty little thing of toothpaste, which I don't see in there, which was great. These little, like, you can take them on the airplane. Uh, shampoo. Boy, I did not use a lot of shampoo. My goodness. I'm not even... I'm not even through a fourth of this. You know, I did use my shampoo, but I used it really, really sparingly, especially at first, because I'm like, I don't know if this is going to last me. But, uh, yeah, if you get these and you stay gone for 25, and I wash my hair uh, just about every day. Um, so, yeah, this much, you don't have to be so sparing with it. Go ahead and use it for real. Oh, uh, my liquid dial. I love liquid dial. So, it was really good. It's like one of those things, like, David just loves liquid dial, so I was happy to have some liquid dial. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, this is lotion, and I used it as uh, shaving cream. I just find those big edge gel things too bulky and too cumbersome, and then I don't like just the foam, so I used lotion, and uh, it worked very well. However, I'll say this, I had this Gillette disposable razors. I brought four of them. They left them on the plane. And I gotta say, I did not like the shave that I got. Now, I've got one of those, like, Magic Gillette vibrating shavers, uh, which works really well, but I kind of wish I brought not a disposable, but a, a, a higher-end razor with a couple blades, because this thing pulled on my skin. It didn't make me, like, didn't make me look as good as I could. And I really believe that that looking good, looking well-groomed, was really important for me making friends. I wanted to make sure that I didn't look like, you know, that I didn't have, like, you know, a full beard and, you know, an eye patch and a bandage on my hand. I wanted to look like, you know, a friendly guy who's going through Europe that you want to hang out with. Uh, so I did think personal appearance was, was pretty important. But I would have liked to have had a better razor. Um, well, <laughs> my antiperspirant, I've got to say, I, I guess I could have had one half this size and been just fine, because uh, I did not use a whole lot of it. But good stuff. Also, I brought my, um, this is the hair stuff that I use um, at home. I didn't even go through half of it either. I did use it kind of sparingly, but another one of those things that I felt that I needed to look good and help me make friends. Then I put some Tide in this little bottle here. Uh, for when I was washing clothes. Mm, it smells good. Uh, and that was just, I would pour a little bit in the sink when I was washing clothing in the sink, and then I would dr 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 manipulate it. And um, that was good to have, although I didn't use, I didn't use very much. Um, usually I end up having a washing machine and people who help me wash laundry. So, that is the toiletries. And lastly, uh, my wallet has changed since I've, you know, been back. But um, pictures of my family, I found more important. Like I have my little sister, me with my band, uh, my friend Kristen, and myself and my nephew, and my dad, and Alexandra, and my mom, which really led to a good story, and that was kind of like the point, like, you know, tell them a little bit my dad, oh yeah, here's, here's what my dad looks like, oh yeah, like a real and a little sister, you know, she's 17 years younger than me, and this picture of mom really blows my mind. I found this picture of my mother 
the day before I left, and I had never seen it before. And it is my mom, what we think is her hiking in Germany. Isn't that cool? She's got like her backpack over here and, and a jacket, and you know, she's traveling just like I was. It was very neat. Uh, so I had my bank card, and I had my credit card, and yeah, you know, it is really important to have diverse ways of paying for things. Uh, my bank card didn't work for a little while, but once I got it fixed, it was good that I could go to an ATM and get money out. It was also good at the beginning, especially with what a punk England was about letting me in, of having several hundred dollars in cash on you to sort of like, you know, you want several days of money so that you can get your feet on the ground and in case something happens, um, happens to, you know, your bank card or your credit card, you want time to work that out because I really needed it. Uh, so yeah, credit card, bank card, and some cash is what I needed. And I pretty much think that uh, that's everything I brought. So good, now that I've done this, I can actually put this stuff in the hamper because I was waiting so I could show it to you. Cool, cool. One more thing. I also brought my favorite, you know, I'm gonna talk about I'm going to talk about this water bottle. Um, I brought carabiners on me, um, also known as D-rings. But yeah, I guess I should talk about the two. So I brought my keys, which is kind of weird. But more importantly, um, I brought a USB um, a flash drive. Uh, and I kept my copies of my information on it. So it would always be on my person. Uh, you know, passport. Is that it? other important stuff. Any important documents I had, um, I kept on this. So I had a copy electronically. I kept a copy here in the States. So I thought that was important. You know, this thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about. Um, I brought this water bottle. And this is a SIG bottle. And I just use it to carry water around. But I would also carry it on the front of my bag. So I'd have my bag like this, and I usually keep it like this, or like this, depending on where I was. But in addition to putting water in it and just having something to drink for when you don't know, you know, uh, <laughs> if there's going to be a ready, readily available supply of water, I would put it here. And if I was in a place where I was not particularly comfortable. If I saw someone eyeing me up and down, uh, like I did in the uh, first uh, subway station I came into in Paris, whew, that place was intimidating, man. If somebody looked at me with my big bag, knowing I was a traveler, knowing I was out of place, looks me up and down, eyes my bag, which I have on there, I put my hand on it, and I just kind of like flip it like that. I just put a hand and just give that indication of, I'm not worth it. I have a big piece of metal here that can very easily go like that. Of course, you know, I didn't say that, but I certainly didn't mind some people knowing that I had a big piece of metal that was heavy on me. Um, there was one time in Prague where me and a couple friends were trying to find this beer garden, but we had to go through this desolate park wooded area, and it had about only half of the lights that you would expect from such a place, and in that place, I was just down full on, you know, like this, because the thing about it is, you know, you can't carry a, a, a blade on you easily, you can't carry really any type of self-defense that's easy, so having a water bottle that can at least act as a a deterrent to people or God forbid actually be used you know as a weapon I couldn't imagine it would be disturbing to be in a, in a fight with this thing but I gotta say if I'm someone off the guard I could get I could get a hit off before I run away so anyway